Hey guys, and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a what's for dinner video. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys four different meal recipes that are so easy to make. You guys know I am all about easiness and convenience, but also being delicious and healthy. So I hope that you guys would enjoy all of these recipes. And also I'll be trying to leave all of them linked down below. These took literally less than 30 minutes to make. Super easy, not that many ingredients, which is what I am all about. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you did, please comment down below and give it a thumbs up. So for dinner tonight, we are having beef and broccoli. I'm telling you guys, this is the easiest beef and broccoli recipe I have come across, and it is really, really good. This is everything that you'll need except for if you want a side, like rice or something like that. But you're going to need soy sauce, exact measurements will be down below, cornstarch, oil, beef broth, minced garlic, of course, I always take the shortcut and get the jar kind. Uh, brown sugar, I actually had to borrow this from my neighbor because it was the only thing I didn't have, um, but I only will need one fourth a cup of that. Broccoli, you guys could use frozen if you want to. I am using fresh and then whatever kind of steak you want. Usually I would suggest flank steak. This one was a little bit cheaper and it's the top round. It says it's for stir fry or fajitas, but it's already cut up, which is perfect because I can just throw it into the pan. But that is everything that you will need. So let me show you guys how to make it. The first thing you're gonna do is put your steak or meat in a bowl and sprinkle two tablespoons of cornstarch. Then I just use my hands to coat it mix it all together make sure it's all evenly coated this is by far my favorite meal also really yes you say that about every meal i make though that's because everything you make is delicious except for lasagna <laughs> and we're back all right so i have a pan heating up some oil i'm hoping it's not too hot it might be a little too hot but we're gonna go ahead and add our steak to it because we're gonna cook this first I feel like we could even have gotten two packs of that, huh? Yeah. It's okay. All right, so now we're just going to cook this until it's brown, and then we're actually gonna take it out of the pan, put it on a plate, and then cook our broccoli, and then add it later. B R B. So actually, while that cooks, I'm gonna make the sauce that's gonna go in the beef and broccoli. So I have one fourth a cup of the brown sugar, two teaspoons of cornstarch, and I'm going to add half a cup of soy sauce and whisk it all together. Okay. You want it for your birthday too? We're back. All right, so I'm just gonna add this to a pan and don't worry about all the stuff on the bottom. Plate. Or plate, yes. <laughs> but don't worry about, ah, we gotta. We got a runner. Don't worry about all the stuff on the pan because once we steam the broccoli and get the beef broth in here, it's gonna all come apart. So now you're going to add your broccoli. You're gonna also hear crazy kids in the back. That's just a given. Some garlic. Add a little bit. Getting a little tongue tied today. I add a little bit extra, that's what I was trying to say. And then half a cup of, ooh. We're spilling, we're spilling, we're spilling. We made it, we made it. Half a cup of the beef broth. So I'm just gonna mix this around a little bit and to steam it so it's nice and soft, we're gonna add a lid and that's gonna help it cook it down a little bit. All right, so the broccoli is getting a little tender and you can tell it's already starting to come up on the bottom, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the meat back to the pan. I'm gonna let it cook and simmer with the sauce. I'm gonna add that next. Kind of mix it a little bit together. And then, like I said, we're gonna add the lid back on, let it simmer, thicken up a bit with the cornstarch, and then it will be ready to serve. All right, so here's how it turned out. Like I said, super easy recipe, and it is so good. So I'm just putting it over some basmati rice, get a little bit more broccoli, and there you go. All right guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having hot dogs and broths. It's got the Publix brand, 
and some hot dog buns, ketchup, mustard. I'm like showing you guys everything that I've just kind of pulled out for dinner. And then right now I have the air fryer heating up. I was telling you guys in my last grocery haul about my air fried sweet potatoes and what I do and how amazing they are. So all I did was peel two sweet potatoes. I cut them up about this size, put a little bit of avocado oil, a little bit of sea salt, and then however much cinnamon you want to add. I just measure it by eyeballs. So that will depend on you guys. So we're just going to put this in the air fryer. I feel like we always do it on the vegetable setting, so I'll let you guys know that here in a second. And then Frank is heating up the grill right now. I always love to have sauteed onions and green bell peppers with my bratwurst. I actually eat mine without the bun and just dip it in mustard. You guys will see. I'll show you guys here in a second, but I am about to start sauteing these up in a little bit of avocado oil. All right, so this just got done preheating, so now I'm going to add my sweet potatoes to it. I probably should not be putting that on the granite, but I'm trying to do this with one hand. Oh, this is very hot, back up, okay? Did that scare you? All right, so now we're gonna add this back into here, and of course there would be a Luna hair right there. So actually I remembered I do the fry setting, so for 15 minutes, at 400 degrees. All right, so the air fryer just went off. These actually look pretty good. I think they're done. I'm gonna shake them up a little bit, but for the most part, I think these are good to go. Going to transition right out here, open this up, and the hot dogs are definitely done. Some people will say those are a little burnt, but not to me. These are finished. Now the brats are going to take a little bit longer because I like to really make sure that these are nice and cooked. Come on. There we go. So after that, these should be done as well. All right, so I got the kids' plates pretty much made. The hot dogs just got done. So I think Nolan and Harlow, just, I think Nolan and Harlow, and Fletcher will have hot dogs. And then Scarlett does not like hot dogs and Arya doesn't like hot dogs. So they're gonna have, you want the broth? The sausage? The sausage, right? I think that's what she wants. All right guys, so here's how the sweet potatoes turned out. I told you guys I do not like the bun with my broth, so I just have it right here. I'm actually gonna put some mustard on here as well. And then I have my sauteed green bell peppers and onions. All right guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having four cheese pasta. I think that's what, four cheese creamy pasta? Something like that. Technically, I'm making a three cheese spaghetti because I am missing a cheese. I'm replacing it with mozzarella, but it called for mozzarella cheese shredded and also shredded Romano. But instead, I'm just gonna double up on the mozzarella. And then of course, you're going to need some spaghetti. And then the other cheese is shredded Parmesan. So I have that there minced garlic, heavy whipping cream, also some cream cheese, butter, parsley, this is gonna be for a garnish for the top, olive oil, and then salt and pepper. We're gonna have roasted broccoli as a side and also garlic bread. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and heat up or start boiling my pasta water, and then I'm gonna use this pan for my sauce, for the creamy cheese garlic sauce to go on the spaghetti. Adding our pasta in there. And I'm gonna cook this for seven to eight minutes. All right, so this is almost done cooking. So I have one tablespoon of butter and a clingy toddler and one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm heating this up because we're actually gonna add the pasta into here. So after this heats up, I'm also gonna add some garlic to the pan as well. And also when the pasta is done, make sure to save a cup of the pasta water too because it's gonna go in here too. garlic all heated up. Now we're gonna add all of our pasta 
into this pan. Wait, really? Yep. I should probably strain it first. Hold on. There. And goes your one cup of pasta water. And then I'm going to add cup of heavy cream? Um, two thirds of heavy cream. And then two tablespoons of whipped cream cheese. All right, so now we're gonna mix this all together and bring it to a boil. All right, so it's come to a boil now. I put salt and pepper in here and now I'm going to add my cheese. So what are we adding here? Adding one cup of shredded Parmesan and then we're gonna add one cup of um, mozzarella. Mozzarella, yes. All right, so half of this bag. All right, so now we're going to stir constantly until the cheese is all nice and blend it I ain't in. Oh wow, this looks pretty good. It's about to be really good now after this cheese melts. So do you think I'm gonna be able to taste the cream cheese? Nope. There's only two tablespoons. But I, but I know it's in there. <laughs> Just because you know something's in there doesn't mean it's not good, okay? Fair enough. Alright, so on top of the broccoli being out, I believe the Get pasta that. is done. Look at that. Look how good that looks, you guys. So creamy and cheesy. Not healthy at all, but we're gonna. <laughs> well, what? Who says it's not healthy? Oh, what do you have? Oh. You have some garnish on there? You gotta have some little garnish. <laughs> throw some broccoli on the plate. There's the roasted broccoli. All I did was just add some salt, pepper, minced garlic, and um, you did avocado. avocado oil? Yes, avocado oil. So I got some broccoli. I love broccoli, so put extra on there. And then bring you over You're skipping. to have skipping the garlic bread. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that cheesy pasta. That's because I'm gonna load up on the pasta. On the pasta carbs? On the pasta carbs. Ah! Oh. Okay, look at that. That's a good amount. And then get some parsley for a little gar. It's a little wet, so little, there we go. Little taste on top. Yep. And then voila. All done. I'll let you guys know how I like it because it's the first time I'm making it. All right, guys. So for dinner, we are making pesto chicken. I think we've shown this recipe on our channel before, but we'll go ahead and show you guys. So you might have already seen it. Or if you're new, I got a new recipe for you guys. Um, so Frank just cut up some chicken breast. He just trimmed the fat and cut them in half. And then he put a little bit of oil in the bottom of this glass baking dish. So the next thing he's gonna do is just add a jar of pesto all over the chicken. I am about to prep our cherry tomatoes because everything is basically, the whole dinner tonight is gonna be in the oven. So we have the cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna cut, put some olive oil, salt and pepper and garlic, and then also some asparagus as well. I think I'm just gonna put salt and pepper and, or maybe like a little bit of garlic powder and oil on these. And then my tomatoes will go in here and they're all gonna pretty much cook at the same time. And then later we're gonna add the cheese, but we're gonna first cook the chicken with the pesto first. Ready? Yes. I'm just going to just add Pretty much, I think the whole jar, right? We do the yeah, whole jar? Yeah, so you do the whole jar, but what I do at first is I kind of mix it up a little bit because if you don't, like all of like the oil. oil and stuff is on top. So I just take it and put a little bit on like each one and then I'll come like back behind and like spread it all back out. Yeah, and then we have the oven preheated at 400 degrees because we're gonna cook everything at that temperature for I would say probably 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. But while Frank does that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up. going into 
the oven. We're gonna put this on the top rack. And actually, five minutes before the timer goes off, we're gonna add our cheese, which is over there. We're gonna wait on that. We're just using shredded mozzarella. Oh, we got more stuff going we have in. Our asparagus. And lastly, but not least, it's kind of like a one pan dinner. But you you know oven. you could actually put all of this on one pan? <laughs> I know, I know I could. But you know how you can make like those one skillet meals and like baking sheet meals? This is gonna be a all in the oven kind of meal. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that cook for 20 to 25. I'll do 25. 25 so I'll wait until five minutes are left on the timer and then we'll add the cheese. All right guys, so it is almost five minutes until the timer is gonna go off. We're gonna take the chicken out now and add the cheese and then put it back into the oven for a few more minutes. And then everything else is still cooking in there. Ooh, look how good that looks. You can tell we like a lot of cheese. And then it says we still have four more minutes, so I think it should be nice and melted by then. All right guys, so I just took the chicken out of the oven. It's all nice and melted. And I just gotta take now the uh, asparagus and tomatoes. These are all nice and done and roasted. And then as well as Asparagus. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of some shredded parm. Oh, we're getting fancy with it. <laughs> Are we? Is this fancy? <laughs> so here is how dinner turned out. I like to add the roasted tomatoes on top of my chicken, add a little parm to our asparagus, and this is gonna be dinner for tonight, along with a glass I of wine. Huh? I love the chicken. Nolan said he loves the chicken. I love the yogurt the most because it tastes good. It tastes good. You mean it tastes good? The best? Yeah. yeah. All the asparagus. The asparagus? Yeah, Ari likes the asparagus. And I and think I Fletcher like likes the I yogurt. Like totally forgot to film an outro for this video. So I just want to say really quickly, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys. Bye.